Hi, everyone. All right. It's February 19, 2021, and I have to issue a mea culpa to take responsibility for not thanking all of you who have sent donations. And, you know, this comment, I'd love to get angry at the person, but I can't, and I won't because they're right, but it's not for lack of care. I had an awful lot going on. I still have an awful lot going on. And to tell you the truth, you know, to admit it, to admit, I have been pretty depressed. I've really been struggling. And my main number one priority has always been to get information out. And if I don't post, there's no point to my existence. I'm not kidding. My life literally got emptied out, destroyed. And this is all I have. So that's why for me, when a channel goes down, it's very hard. And I am being very honest and I'm being honest. So you understand, but I'm not, this is not me, you know, looking for sympathy um, at all. I'm just trying to explain what has been going on. Now, I stupidly took off a whole chunk of videos from my channels. And those videos explain what was happening the just talking videos, everything that I was going through in South Carolina, getting, uh, going through that whole eviction process, you know, for feeding cats, that <laughs> management of the apartment complex actually had started this feral cat community, put up feeding posts, feeding stations at the apartment complex. And when you feed cats for a while, they begin to rely on you. That's the problem. Because you may not be able to feed them for their life. Anyway, what happened was they pulled the plug on it and evicted an awful lot of people. Awful lot. Um, four people that I know got booted out for feeding cats. So the eviction process, all of the stress around that, then, you know, um, getting a house through a neighbor who really just, I'm still shocked by what took place. And if any of you know, have seen those videos, then you know what I'm talking about. The uh, about face after I had paid for the inspection and asked for donations uh, to get early occupancy because there's just too much to explain. But we were having a problem tr uh, closing on, yes, bureaucratic bullshit just having to wait and wait and wait for something that a student loan of hers that was already government agencies had already um, approved the discharge of the loan because of her disability, but it hadn't shown up on a particular site, so the closing didn't happen, and then we needed early occupancy because we were being kicked out of our apartments, and it was hell. And then we finally get early occupancy, literally, like, uh, it wasn't even 20, it was like 12 hours before we needed to leave. So then I'm 
rushing around, packing up, moving everything. Then I get into that place. Then we have these cats coming. And I told her to slow down on the cats. And no, she wouldn't. And then she about faced and turned and said she didn't want to do the house. And then told the realtor who who was obligated to tell the owner, which meant we had three days to get out of that house because that was a stipulation in the early occupancy agreement. I hope that you've understood any, any or, or, well, hopefully all of what I just said. Then just throwing in whatever I could into the car, taking four cats with me, driving up to Montana, being in, an, in a completely new place, unfamiliar, um, as beautiful as it is here, as wonderful as the people are, it's been really hard and challenging because familiarity is really important. And the moving and moving and moving, you know, I finally established myself in South Carolina. As bad as that place was for me, as much as I complained about it, Anderson, South Carolina, I began to get known. I could walk into a store, you know, and and the, you know, people who worked in the store knew me, and I could have, you know, some conversation with them. Walking on the track, and Wes, who was a subscriber of mine who lived in Anderson, would stop occasionally and walk with me, and or he would stop over. A neighbor, you know, I began to become friends with her and walk with her and her dog. And so, you know, and also living in an apartment complex where you have all of these neighbors who are just friggin' crazy, but then you have neighbors who know you and you can stop and you can uh, talk or you could sit out in the sun and, you know, a neighbor would come home and you'd have, you know, some social contact or the neighbor that you would visit, the elderly woman with the dog, you know, and have coffee, you know, pretty much on a daily basis. You know, I began to establish a routine. I began to establish some familiarity in a place that, you know, really, you know, was, you know, it's, it was just not a place, you know, where I could actually create the kind of life that I had up in Massachusetts, Great Barrington. But it began to work for me. You know, and I, all of the stress around the eviction and my head just exploding from what took place with Charlene, the neighbor who, I, I'm, I'm still in shock. I feel, you know, I'm out close to $7,000. And that whole thing set me back. You know, it, it's been a really challenging time. So, you know, from moving from an apartment complex to, you know, a cabin, which is absolutely, you know, just beautiful, there's still a lot. You know, I'm unfamiliar again. I'm I, there's no routine. There's no. It's very hard to, you know, just keep going. You know, when you're alone, and um, the lack of sun here has been brutal. You know, I miss a lot. So you know, I am so sorry for not thanking everyone. You know, and I wrote this list of people that donated, wanting to read that list. Debbie, DP, Luz A, Larry R, Paul T, Donald T, Underground H, Carl, Carl Roberts, Denise um, S, Cheryl J, 
Kevin B., Catherine H., Christopher R., Joseph S., Nancy H., Hollins, Jeffrey K., Dominic B., Paul R., Wood, Wooden N., Veronica W., Helton H., Damian K., David B., Hillcrest L., um, I can't even read my handwriting. Alistair M. L. Um, Ellen M. Brooks R. Megan F. Gregory W. Jennifer L. Elizabeth M. Debbie C. Larry R. Barbara C. Stephen K. Kaylee P. Colin C or Colin C, sorry, Distressed W, Shen L, Patricia T, Otto E, Paula A, Mary H, Kahari A, Robert S, Nathan P, Fran E, Larry L, Kevin I, Regina H, Linda R, Virginia R, Amy G, Greg S., Justine D., Pauline M., John, Jack, Jacqueline R., Bethany V., Patrick K., um, Ruth, Colette, Colleen, Kelly L., Becky, Val, Val from Oregon, Wes, Cindy, Kara G, David K, Robert H, Frank R, Hardy L, Aaron K, I'm Q, I'm sorry, Stephen K, Michelle D, Roberta J K, Sue Ann B, um, Lior N, Lori B, Bridget, Diane M, Darcy T. Aniko P., Elizabeth M., Jacqueline S., Christina S., Jonathan O., Lutz N., Jacqueline R., George M., Ruth D., Juliet C., Mandy Z. B., Robert M., Tanya R., Randall T., Christopher B., Tamara W., Solvig H., Patricia T., V, Art Lover, Emma B, Kaniko, Karen R, Shelly B, Ellen M, Ralph R, Phyllis A, Elizabeth B, Ronald K, David B, Cynthia W, Judy V, Lloyd P, David M, Susan L, Rochelle K, Bridget S, Lindy, Amy I, Ivan V, Swan, Swanson M, Flower Disc, um, Michael O.D., Cheryl Ann, Charles K., Lois R., Kiki M., Lisa R., Sarah L. I'm so sorry that I never got a chance to thank you. I don't, I don't have just a, you know, a, a, a thank you that I can just send out in bulk or I thank everybody individually. So it's been hard to thank everybody individually, but these past couple of months have been really very hard. And I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Without you, I would never have made it. Please understand that any help that you give, whether it's a lot or a little, or, you know, here, a hefty donation, Hefty or not, it's not like I thank people that have given me hefty donations versus, you know, anything that they can afford. Because to me, it's not so much the money, it's the, it's the idea that you have taken the time. It shows me that you care. You care enough to take the time to send a donation, no matter what you can afford. 
but I am so sorry. Sugar's seas. I, and you know, look, my memory is shot, and I don't, I, I, I'm not going to PayPal looking for my donations, you know, every day. I literally forget. I, I am so out of it these days. And the only thing that keeps me sustained is doing the work that I do. I've got to end this because they won't let me post it for the 15 minutes. They give a certain amount of seconds, you know, after. But I'll post another video. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much.